Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So here is the set of nails we are creating today. Um, I did record a video soaking off her previous set. Uh, that will be uploaded probably tomorrow now. So basically we've done our prep work already. We've soaked off her old nails. We've gone and prepped all the nails. We've removed the surface shine, dehydrated, primed, applied our forms. And now I'm going to go in on all 10 nails and sculpt a thin clear base. This is just our platform to work on. Um, I do this with most of my sets now. I just find I don't really get lifting and things like, and then sort of issues when I apply a nice clear structure. It would be the same if you were working on tips. Um, obviously you just don't have to sculpt, you would just literally stick on your tips and then go in with a clear base on the nail plate. So I've gone ahead and I've done that on all of her nails and if I needed to I've just shaped them up a little bit and now I'm coming in with a Glam and Glitz colour change colour. This one is called Chain Reaction and I'm just going to do an ombre with this at the free edge. Um, this client of mine always likes really bold, bright and crazy nails so I always have to try and do something a little bit different on hers. Um, she's already had the CJP could have changed ones and so today she wanted something different so we went in with some glam and glitz colour change ones. Now all the colours you see me using are the ones she has actually chose. So the dark purple that changes to a hot pink is called Drama Queen. The teal blue that you see me using I have no idea what that's called I cannot remember but it goes from that kind of blue to a pale blue. Um, the other pink that I'm using is called Basic Inspink and it goes from the pink to the white. And then yeah, I think that's all I've used. And then I've also gone in on this nail with Milky Pink from CJP as well. And I've just kind of done like a swirly marble down that nail because I'm going to cover this in some like material anyway. So I'm coming in with CJP and more and I'm going to create a nail bed on this middle finger here. Amour is just a stunning soft pink cover. I love Amour. It's so pretty. So easy to work with as well. So as always I'm just placing that bead where I want my smile line to be and just working that as much as I can so I can only, I only have to file to just sharpen up that shape a little bit and then I'm going to come in with a cuticle bead and my apex bead so placing that bead at my cuticle area and then blending that into the existing product making sure that my apex is in place and that is because we do not need to cap this area of the nail so that's why I'm making sure my structure is all sound. I'm then just going to come back to the pinky finger. You can see that colour change there. The purple and the blue is so pretty. And then I'm just going to make an ombre with the other blue. and just blending that down into that existing colour. Because she is obviously warm, you can see that colour change happening right there. As soon as you place the bead and start working it. She loves this. She's obsessed. <laughs> I'm then going to come in with another Glam and Glitz colour and this is a glitter and this is called Pretty Plush. And I'm just going to tap over some blue glitter as well onto that just to kind of tie all the glitters and colours in together. Just tapping that where I want it. Then I'm coming in with basic inspink and making an ombre on the index finger, so just blending that down. You can see with Glam and Glitz, it's a lot, it's, I find it tricky to work with, I think you have to work with it really wet, um, you have to almost paint it on, whereas CJP you can really mould it, it's just lovely to work with. Um, but like I said, my client really wanted these colour changing acrylics, so what the client wants the client has to have. So you can see how pigmented that is that just covered that whole nail and then I'm going to come in with 
no I'm not, I'm going to let that set. I'm going to go back to the ring finger and you can already see the colour change start happening on that nail. Um, I'm just going to go in with a wash of CJP Crystal Glass. Look at the purple come through as soon as that cold monomer hits it. And then I'm just going in with these fabric strip things that my friend Lisa cut off her daughter's Elsa dressing up dress. Um, it's like, I don't even know what it is, but it's beautiful. Um, so I've just cut some of that up. And then I'm just going to encapsulate that onto this nail. Then I'm going to come back and file that smile line nice and crisp. And then I'm going to come in with Drama Queen and just fill in that free edge. So then on this nail, I'm coming in with that chain reaction and doing an ombre on this nail as well. So just trying to tidy up that cuticle area as much as I can. And as these acrylics are so pigmented, I did use too much. I ended up covering like half the nail, so I just ended up trying to swipe some of it away. And then I'm going to come in with that blue glitter as well and just go along this nail. Just the same as we did the pinky, but in the other direction which is why I wasn't too fussed about that ombre anyway, because like they will be changing colour and stuff. So I don't think you will actually very often see that harsh line. And then just little tiny dots of the pretty plush as well. I'm then going to come in on the thumb and I'm going to take a bead of crystal glass and then dip that into the Glitter Fairy Rainbow Gold Shine Glitter and just bring that down the nail and make like a glitter ombre. I'm using my Liz Guild CJP brush as always. And then we're going to go in and take crystal glass and just come in and cap those nails. Crystal glass is the clearest acrylic I've ever used. It is a beaut. So just teasing that product down, capping that whole entire nail. And then I will do this on all the nails. When all the nails are fully set, I'm going to come in with my hand file and I will shape the side walls and the free edge. And as you can see, I am using a different dust extract today. So I found this company on Instagram after a lovely lady in my group posted a link to one. And 
I thought, right, I will go ahead and purchase it because it's cheaper than a lot of leading ones. The one I have is a Twister Mini and they retail at £350. And I think I paid around £350 or £380. Yeah, um, and it is powerful. Um, uh, yeah, so I thought... I wanted to look for something that was a little bit more affordable for nail techs, but without compromising so much on the quality. So I found this company on Instagram and I um, ordered one immediately, <laughs> as you do. Um, I paid for it and around three days later it was here, which is amazing. Super, super fast delivery. It is really lightweight and it is really quiet compared to my Twister. And it's smaller than my Twister as well. So far, I like it. It does suck up dust, but I did found it to be blowing a little bit. The dust was kind of blowing more sideways to my hand. Um, but like I said, this is my first time using it. My first impressions are it's good, it's quiet, it's lightweight, it's nice, it looks nice. It was only it worked out around, I think, £158 with two filters and delivery to the UK. I wasn't charged any custom import fees or anything like that. Um, but yeah, you could see the dust that it was sucking in. But obviously because I'm used to using something super powerful, I, at first I thought that it would be as powerful as that, um, which it isn't. But it is still a good bit of kit. But I will do a full dedicated review on that anyway if you're interested in seeing it and knowing my full thoughts on it and we can actually take a more in-depth look at how much dust it sucks up if you want it so yeah i'm going in with this ceramic bit as always and just going over the nail down barreling down the whole entire nail i'll then buff and reshape if needed and now i'm coming in with the amazing cjp tech free top gloss i love this top coat i have tried other top coats and i always come back to this one it's a lot thinner than others but i like the thinner top coat you only need a tiny bit it just the shine lasts forever it doesn't get scratched it doesn't go rubbery i really love it so I am going to apply this to all of the nails, curing the lamp for 60 seconds. When she comes out of the lamp, I will oil her up. And then that's the end of the video. I hope you've enjoyed this design. It was really fun to do. I loved the end result. My client was super chuffed, so that's all that matters. If you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, please do. I love you all and I'll see you all again in my next one. Bye.